hey guys welcome back to my channel hello if you're new here my name is Ngozi and welcome to discover Ngozi so today I've got um, a uni comparisons video for people who are probably prospective students trying to consider whether they want to study in Midlands or outside Midlands and the two unis I'm going to be comparing today are University of Birmingham and University of Essex so I've mentioned before that I am in Birmingham but I went to Essex previously for my first degree and now I'm here to do my master's so I'm just going to compare the two unis and give you a bit of a sense of what they're like and I think it can be kind of generalized for unis in Midlands as a whole, unis outside Midlands and unis that are not Russell Group because obviously Essex isn't a Russell Group uni but it's still also a very good uni. So. The things I'm going to be comparing today are social life, accommodation, diversity support for students and course delivery, so how they deliver your course and also um, diversity, what diver how, how diverse the unis are or not. So first I'll start with Essex because I went there, so I was in Essex for like three years, I did business management. In terms of social life, I would say I mean, I personally didn't make the most out of it, but there is a chance to make the most out of it. You've got things in town that you've got. Sometimes you, you'd have things like concerts to go to. You'd have ACS events. You'd have things like Freshers Fair. We even have like two clubs at the uni um, that events will happen on. And that's the kind of things that you might end up going to when you're in first year. So in terms of social life advice for people in or thinking of going to Essex Uni is I would say get to know what societies are involved, um, what societies there are and get involved, whether that's ACS or calisthenics, like whatever it is that you're interested in, find your social, find your um, society, join the group chat, participate, go to, you know, if you want to have a role in the society, participate for the election. If I want to compare social life in Essex versus UOB, I would say UOB, even though it has been locked down that throughout the time I've been here, we have kind of been in and out of lockdown. It does still feel a bit more social because we have a wider range of things available. So in Freshers Week before we were just in, when we weren't in lockdown yet, I don't know if we were in tier two or three, there used to be events in town. And the good thing about UAB compared to Essex when it comes to social life is because obviously in Birmingham, there's loads of unis around. So when you would go to events in Colchester, you'd only end up meeting people either locals or people who also live to Essex Uni as well. So the range of people are shortened compared to Birmingham. Whereas in Birmingham, when you go out to events like in town in Birmingham, you would meet, you would meet students from Birmingham City University, Aston University. Sometimes you even meet students from like at, um, Manchester, Nottingham. There was one event I remember and, I, and there were some people and I was like, oh, what evening do you guys go? And they were like, Nottingham. And I was like, what are you guys doing here? Like, is there nothing happening in Nottingham? But basically what I'm going to say is because Birmingham is the centre of West Midlands, you have a huge range of students to meet when you go out. So it's not just your uni, but it's also people your age group and similar that people that are not too far away from you. So in terms of social life, I would honestly say the social life in Birmingham is more, is better because there's more things to do at at um, the uni societies in the area as a whole. Obviously, Essex is in Colchester and there's limited amount of things to do. Whereas in Birmingham, if you're someone who likes to go out to eat, you've got a huge range of restaurants. In outside lockdown, if you're you know, someone who wants to go clubbing, you have more choices. Um, whatever you want, it's more catered to you because obviously it's a bigger city. So I'd give the social life. In my experience, what has better social life, I'd give that one to Birmingham rather than Essex. And I feel like that could go for any other uni in Midlands. I, I have friends that go to other unis like Warwick and um, Manchester. I know someone who went to Nottingham and it's kind of similar um, in terms of the social life. Like Midlands as a whole is known to have loads of events and stuff and just more of a social life happening here. Accommodation, what the accommodation is like, which one's better prices everything so in Essex we had about I think we had about six accoms um, and it ranged from we had the options to have an ensuite so you have your own bathroom or shared bathroom or studios um, so honestly in terms of accommodation in Essex we had a really good range I remember I had I basically lived in South Coast first South Coast is I'll put a picture of what it looks like right there and I had an ensuite for my first two terms of first year after my first two terms of first year, I um, 
became an RA, which is a resident assistant. So I became an RA first year, so I had to move to another accommodation. I had to move to Meadows, and this is what Meadows looked like. And this was also on, on, on an ensuite. And then after Meadows, over the summer, before I went into second year, I did RA training in the towers. This is what the towers look like. The towers is one of the worst in terms of um, sharing because you literally have two bathrooms between, one bathroom between like, I think like 10 people or something crazy like that. But I heard from people who live in towers, I heard that it's very social because obviously you have like 14 people in the flat or 10 people in the flat. So you have way more people to interact with. But if you're someone who wants your own bathroom and if you're someone who is like a hygiene, like hygiene is really important to you, you probably don't want to go to towers because you're probably going to struggle with the cleanliness and everything and the last place i lived in in colchester was cops and cops was my favorite because it was really new it was like when the year i was in there when i moved in we were like the first people moving in it had all on suites and it also had studios it was right next next to ebs the business school so it was literally a two minute walk to the business school which was great for when i had seminars there so in terms of accommodation essex uni does offer an amazing range of accommodation and to be honest i can't afford it but with birmingham obviously we have way more i think we have about 13 accommodations and um, i've done a reuni room tour if you haven't watched it go check it out so i'm living on a suite again for me my my priority for me with accommodation is i want somewhere who i want somewhere that is close to uni has an on suite and has a good social life and where i'm in now mason is a bit of a trek to uni is a bit like a 15 minute 20 minute walk but it's not that bad because obviously everything is online and even when i do go to campus it's not that much of a trek and it's an ensuite and it's social so those are my priorities for accommodation yours might be different if you're not um i'd say for someone thinking of going to essex uni if you um if you don't mind the like the bathroom situation and you just want a social area i would say south coast or north or the towers any of the towers north towers south towers i'd say one of them if you want like a good social life and somewhere that's also really really close to campus but if you're someone that cares about your bathroom and the cleanliness everything i'd say meadows or cops but in birmingham if you're someone that doesn't really care about like you know what if you have an ensuite or not and you just want to be super close to uni then probably accommodations in selly oaks is better for you but yeah if i want to give what do i think has a better like accommodation obviously birmingham has wider choices so i'd probably say birmingham but essex would have been as good but obviously we just don't have as much because it's a small uni but i wouldn't fault the accommodations in either places they're both bliss they're both nice and i've always had a good experience okay so now thirdly i'm going to talk about university support Honestly, I can't even explain to you guys how much better Essex is when it comes to university support than Birmingham. And I'm talking like, in Essex there were just way more resources. Um, we had like resident assistants who were basically like prefects but at uni. So the RAs would help you if you had things like noise complaints or and you, you felt awkward to go and tell your housemates and you didn't want to confront them, you just called the RA on duty and they'll come sort it out we had like signposts for everything like if you were having like mental health problems you knew exactly where to go to who to call like the student in essex the student support in essex was actually amazing i'm not even gonna lie like they really did care for the students that was my experience anyways like i felt like the uni itself did put the students like at the top like student hub was there to help you out when you're looking for accommodation your RAs are there to help you sort out conflicts um with your housemates like the uni itself like it was just basically what i'm going to say is student support in essex versus urb you can't compare it in the university of birmingham you're really on your own i know in uni you're on your own anyways but i'm so sorry to say the support here is not that great the resources are not that great the signposting is not that great i think i told you guys in my last video about when i was trying to find like a clinic and they were like oh google it i was like google it like what kind of response is that what i'm trying to say is in Birmingham, the way it feels like, yeah, it feels like the lecturers are too good for you. It feels like the student support is too good for you. I'll give you guys a minor example, right? So, comparison. Welcome week in Essex, first year of uni. The minute I stepped in, there, were, there was someone to help me to go get my um, student card, someone to tell me where my accommodation was, everything, like everything pattern that I didn't need. I wasn't confused. I didn't need like too much help. Everything was made sense. First welcome week at Birmingham. I know it was Corona, 
but there could have still been people that could have helped you show you a calm everything so i moved in now obviously i didn't have my student card because i didn't sort it out before and i applied for it online and i got an email saying your student card is ready come pick it up today and i was thinking what like how bad is that email like there's no time frame there's no place telling me where to go get it from this is a huge uni it could be anywhere so first place i go to is the library and they're like oh we don't collect student cards anymore and we're not sure where it could be and then i went to the welcome marquee they said it wasn't there like guys it took me two hours roaming around on campus to find my student card like the communication here is zero i'm telling you like they don't i'll be so honest like it's a good uni yeah whatever it might look good because it's a russell group uni but don't think you're gonna get great student support because you're not so in terms of student support, Essex gets that point. Student support, they definitely, they win. They win for that one. So now course delivery. <sighs> Obviously with Corona it's different, but there's basically in um, in Birmingham, the thing that we use for our course is called Canvas. Canvas? Canvas? And God, I hate that app. I hate it so much. It gives me so much anxiety. I have to mute it on my phone because otherwise I just can't deal. But in Essex, we have something called Moodle and it just made sense. Like it made so much sense. With the way it was structured, that's where all our lectures were from. Even Canvas, I'm not that much of a techie person. I'm not very good with navigating apps. So I still struggle to even find stuff. But with Moodle, everything was, it was just easy. Like it was just make, making sense. But so I'd say in terms of online course delivery, I really preferred how they did it in Essex compared to UOB, but it's still okay. Um, but the thing is, I would say, I feel like the lecturers here are a bit more, the thing is, I, I find it difficult to speak on co course delivery because obviously I'm doing a master's now and it's a bit more, it's, a, it's, a, it's very different to a degree because you're kind of on your own here and there's only so much you can expect the lecturers to help you. You're kind of, they kind of just let you get on with things by yourself. So I don't know if I can really compare it, but I didn't have a problem. I didn't have a problem with how the course was delivered in Essex. I felt like there was a lot of support. I did business management. So EBS, I felt like were helpful. They had like helpful resources. They had extracurricular things to help you with your writing essay skills. And we have the same here in Birmingham. So for course delivery in terms of what delivers your course better, I would actually give the points to both unis because I think they were both good. And now diversity. I think diversity, that's probably what everyone whoever is watching i think that's what you guys are more interested in so this might be a bit of an unpopular opinion but i feel like essex was a little is it possible to be too type to be too diverse because i feel like essex was and i don't want to i don't know how to explain this like essex right it felt like don't get me wrong there was a lot of black people which was amazing because it gives you range and all of that but I don't know if anyone else would agree, but sometimes it felt like there were more black people than any other race in that uni. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like I kind of wanted to meet other people. Like, I'm telling you, in Essex, it felt like majority were black. Like, and it, it just kind of made it a bit like, you know what I mean, like, like groupy and like clicky for that reason. But I don't know. Essex is definitely way more diverse in terms of if you're someone who wants to go to a place where you can meet more black people or you know more brown people, Essex is very, they're heavy on diversity, let's say that. But I don't know if people who have been there would agree that sometimes, I don't know if there's a good balance, I don't know. But University of Birmingham, on the other hand, is completely different. The majority of students here are either Chinese, um, Asian or white. Black people are very minor, like they are the minority at this uni. But then again, there is a handful. I mean, to be fair, like it depends because if you submerge yourself like in ACS, you will find black friends, you will meet black people, but we're not the majority at the uni, we're the minority. But at the same time, it's not terrible because, oh, sh sorry, my ring light just went off. Yikes. Okay, back to what I was saying. But yeah, in UOB, it's not as diverse. 
but then again i feel like there is a handful more than i feel like there is more than a handful of black people i mean all my friends are black and there is a, a good amount of i have a good amount of acquaintances and friends and they're all black so it shows that there are black people but essex is more diverse and i'm sure a lot of people love that but for me i found that it was so diverse that it was a bit like so all the black people kind of knew each other well for the most part so it was a bit more clicky and a bit more like you could, you could, there was no hiding space. Like you couldn't, like you would, you couldn't do. I don't have to say people will know your business. I feel like that's how it was, anyways, and I don't know how I feel about that. I didn't have the best experience, but I'm still not biased. I will still say that uni was a great uni. I just didn't have a good experience in terms of the social life, but that does not tan, tan, tanish, tanish, tanish my view of the uni. It's still a great uni, but. So I've touched on five things. I've touched on social life, accommodation, course delivery, university support, and diversity for you guys. And I feel like these are the five things that really make up a university experience. And so far, the points, more points got delivered to Birmingham because they won, in my opinion, for social life, accommodation, and um, course delivery. But Essex got the other points for diversity and university support. So do with that what you will. If you want to come study in Midlands, it's lit, it's fun, it's what you make it though. So don't think that it's like an automatic like social life. Like you have to make, you have to, you have to make put in the effort. You have to actually go out, talk to people, treat people how you want to be treated, etc., etc. You have to actually do the work for both unis. But I am having a much better time. I feel like the three years I spent in Essex. I've, I'm kind of making up for it for in the one year that I'm in Birmingham. I'm having a much better time. That's just my experience. I know a lot of people who loved it in Essex and they had the best time. So this is just me. But I hope this helps someone. If you guys want me to do any more uni related, um, university related, uh, anyone who wants me to do university related videos, let me know. I'm in UAB, so make it like relevant to UAB. If you think of coming to UAB. I, I, I can answer some Essex Uni questions because I only just left there not June last year so I do have a lot of recollection of what things were like but if you want any more questions, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment below if you want me to make any more videos about specific topics, let me know and I'll, get, I'll do that but thank you guys so much for watching, thanks for the support, thanks for the engagement and see you guys next week, bye!